<laughs> yeah, so I shot the whole thing and it didn't record. Anything else you want to clean before? I got up, I got ready for work, and I already did what I'm about to do. And it was good too! Uh, because it was first impression, so um, these will be second thoughts. This is my dog, Mercy. Well, his full name is Merciful. This is my other dog, Gemma. I don't know if you can see her, but her full name is Jemima. I counted all my fragrances um, a couple weeks ago, a few weeks ago. And up until that point, I really felt like there was so much more that I needed, and I was fine with that. It's a lot, but it could be way more. Uh, I still like a lot of things, and if they're all good quality, that's great. Sometimes I get really sucked into sales and deals. Sometimes you can get like a really good fragrance for $20. Like, uh, there's these specific ones from Oscar de la Renta. They're kind of like stupid bottles, but also cool, big plastic looking flower things. There was a couple of those Oscar things I hadn't had, so I decided to buy them. And anyways, when I got in the car and I smelled them, I was like, oh, okay. They're not all created equal. I just felt so stupid. I felt so guilty, like having all these things I, I hadn't even opened yet. And I couldn't even go a couple hours without buying more. It's not like I was getting the latest release or some beautiful niche experience or some designer thing. I was just like getting $20 fragrances. It was depressing. What I'm trying to say is through this year, especially with the pandemic, I've actually been working more than ever. I've been able to like do a lot of things I wanted to do, pay off some credit cards, continue to shop. Yeah, it's been nice. Of course, work is crazy and life is bizarre, but that's a sidebar. So yeah, I got these fragrances from fragranceby.ca. I love that website. They're so good. Plus they're Canadian. Shipping is really, really fast. Yeah, this is all designer. Gemma, you okay? Okay, sorry. Are you okay? Are you okay? Are you okay? So yesterday when I first did this, this was the only one I had smoked previously because when I got it, I opened it and I just smoked this because it was a tester. I don't know, I guess I had to do something. So this is Encre Noir. This is Encre, 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 Encre. This is Encre Noir. No, it's not that. It's Encre Noir. Probably everyone knows this. I just got it. I have another Lalique fragrance, just Le Parfum, which is, you know, a nice, sleepy, but kind of vanilla. Second thoughts on first impressions. Yeah. Oh. Wow. Oh my God. I really love this. It's so good. Oh, wow. Woody, 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 woody. Dark, inky, inky. Woody, dark, inky. There's a zing to it. Oh, gosh. It's really nice. Butch moment. I'm into it. Oh, my gosh. I'm excited to wear that. Well, that's for a man. We'll continue with male fragrances, which, obviously, I wear everything. One of my favorite things to wear, one of the hottest smells. The smell of, like, beautiful, beautiful, like, fresh-cut flowers on a man. Gorgeous. Lips. This one's Oscar de la Renta Gentleman, and I well, I just wanted to try it. I love the bottle. The reviews were like, some of them were good, some of them weren't. I like a lot of Oscar de la Renta fragrances. They're pretty good for the price. Oh, right. Mmm. Oh, I really like this. It's very like daytime. This could be very like weekend work. Part of it is like an orange Tic Tac. To me, there's like an iciness. Oh my gosh, stop it! Freaking out over the cats. You know how sometimes they have um, flankers of things called freeze? It's like an orange Tic Tac freeze. Not a Slurpee, not a drink, but like frozen. Fun! I went to this place in New York called Perfumery and for $20 you do like a fragrance flight and they have like, I think it's 25 fragrances. It's a blind uh, smelling. You sort of write down what you think of each fragrance. At the end, you pick like three and then you narrow it down to one and you take a little decant home of the one you liked. Um, what was the point of that? Oh, the first time I did it, I said, um, do you have um, coffee beans? And they were like, no. It's like, not good to smell coffee in between. She said, just like smell your shirt. 
And that's what I'm going to do. That's what I was about to do, which is what reminded me to talk about this thing. Anyways, swelling my shirt. This is Diesel Plus Plus Feminine. And I wondered if they want you to say plus plus. Probably plus plus is good. I bought this because Sarah May has talked about it. You know, whenever somebody says, I don't have anything like this in my collection or I haven't really smelled a fragrance like this, I always am curious. And so she had said that about this one, that it was very unique. And I actually never wanted to buy diesel fragrances. I had an experience with one about 20 years ago, that one in the red bottle. It kind of looks like a bottle like this, but it's red. I had a friend who I just thought he stunk. And he would come around and I would always be like, what's that smell? It was sour, it was acrid, like acidic, sour, bad. It was like not B.O., it was like different. Anyways, it was that diesel fragrance because I ended up getting it and I sprayed it. And I was like, oh my God, that's that guy. That's that smell. So yeah, I'm not like ever, I've never been inclined to even try them out since then. And ni hao. Here's this one and I'm excited. Well, I already smelled it yesterday, but I have to do it all over again. I remember yesterday I liked it. Good thing is I don't really remember the details of everything. So in a way, some of this will be new. Oh, oh yeah. Mmm. Oh, wow. That's really good. Yeah, it is milky. I remember her saying it was milky. It's got like a, mm, a tender, sweet milkiness. Oh, and then I guess there's a fresh sweetness. It's a soft kind of sweetness. It's really pretty. Mmm. Maybe I'll wear it today. Fendi. This is a tester bottle. Doesn't matter. As long as it has a cap, I'm cool. Hello, Amber Chantel. Yeah, I'm a Chantel -y smelly. Yeah. <laughs> 100%. Love her videos. They're amazing. Oh, right. Fuck, this, is, this happened yesterday. I like this. And I was trying to think of what it reminds me of. There's a woodiness. I wonder if there's like plum in here. One time I'll have the notes on hand. Because I thought it reminded me of a bottle I had six to eight years ago. But then yesterday I was thinking, does it remind me of decadence? But just without that sort of earthy part. But there's some of it, but not a lot of it. So I don't know if anybody has this, let me know. But if you don't have it, I think it's worth getting. Offendi fragrances have been discontinued. So when something's discontinued, like there is a kind of mystique about it for people who are obsessed for who knows what reason. Anyhow, this is Furiosa. Fendi Furiosa. 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 Okay, so the next one is... Ooh, yeah, I was so excited to try this. I had Toy. I smelled Toy too. I kind of liked it. It reminded me of Jeremy Scott Adidas Originals fragrance that came in the shoe, which I did have and I used the whole bottle. And I did want to get Toy again because I was like, oh, because it's totally gone, right? I did see one in Bahamas. But at the last minute, I got paranoid thinking maybe it was fake and I didn't want to buy it. I realized now I should have bought it so I could have the teddy bear and then I could have bought the thing that goes inside of it somewhere else. This is Toy Boy, which I really wish it was called Boy Toy. I just think that would be better. Rolls off the tongue. Nice sprayer. Oh, mmm. Yeah, this is good. Oh, I like this one. Oh, mmm. Okay. Oh, okay. I just got a bit of like a freshness there. Mm, it might even have like a bit of a milky, leathery softness. Mmm, fresh. There is woody too. I smell it and I get really like quiet and thoughtful. I guess I'm just thinking, oh, that's really, really great. There's something about it that reminds me of, ooh, the best things about like gray flannel. Totally different, but there's like a, a whisper of it. This one I'm not gonna smell, but I already have it. So this is Alien Power of Gold. Uh, the thing about this is, I think it's just Alien. I already have one, I bought another one just because everyone's so obsessed with that first formulation. It doesn't really last long on my skin. I have the Aqua Chic one and that lasted way longer, so I don't know. And then yesterday, actually, Joss Jane said that on Fragrance Buy, there was Alien Essence Absolute, which everyone is like obsessed and trying to find. And it's in a bottle, but without a sprayer. I realize I have other, I'll have Alien bottles I can put it in. If you have an empty bottle of Essence Absolute or one that's running low, let me know, I'll buy it off you. So this one is Musk Mysterieux. Uh, Musk, uh, Musk, Alien Musk Mysterieux. Mysterieux? Who does that really good? She's French. I think it translates to like perfume addict or parfum environ. Mmm, 
Ooh, musk mysterium. This is really good. Actually, it reminds me of the Furiosa, but with something else, something a bit more, um, it's really bitchy. Yeah, whatever. If I'm a boy today, Oscar de la Renta, gentlemen, in the spirit of working on a Saturday. Oh, that was a lot. Did any of it actually hit my skin? Mmm, okay. Yeah, I said so much other stuff yesterday when I was shooting this. I talked about like how I first bought a, my first time smelling a niche fragrance. I talked about my husband a lot for some reason. Good enough, right? Thanks for watching. Buyer's remorse.